All right. Next up is scraping the wax off. Now what you want to do is you want to wait till it's cooled down a bit because you don't want your wax to be super malleable, obviously. You don't want to just be smearing it around more. You want to scrape it off and you want to have it good and um, cool so it comes off consistently rather than peeling off. So um, so yeah, just wait till it's a, it's a good consistent temperature so you can get a good consistent scrape. Um, now when you're doing this, don't do this uh, obviously on some nice floor where the wax is going to get, you'll ruin the carpet, you'll ruin the floor. What you want to do is you take the flat, the scraper, and keep it as flush as possible while you're doing this. And go ahead and start to pull towards you and you're going to start just bringing off tons of wax. And again, the goal or what you're trying to achieve here is a good flush base, just like similar to what we were doing with Ptex. Good smooth base to ski on. Now put good even pressure on this so you get a good scrape and use the edges as a guide. Now these, again, fat skis kind of are outside of the rule. Most skis, obviously, you're going to have this edge on, or sorry, the scraper on both edges. But just be delicate if you have some fat, fat skis that you're not gouging away a big thing in the middle. Now generally, when I scrape skis, it's easier, I've found, personally, to put them up like this. Now, um, when you feel like you're actually making headway, you feel like you're kind of done, feel it with your hand. Feel for any big bumps, inconsistencies, whatever. So if you take a close look at this, I'm obviously missing kind of this side when I'm scraping this. So, be a little bit more firm with it and bring that stuff down. Take a look at your skis, look at them really closely. If you still have a lot of wax left, get these little spots. And if it's not perfect, of course you can always wax them again next week or tomorrow, whatever. All right. That is what your wax skis should look like. Not a lot of cloudiness. You can tell there's wax on there, but it looks shiny as opposed to super cloudy, like there's a lot of wax on it. All right, now for the last and final step. You're almost done. Your standard household SOS pad will work for this. Um, you're just giving it a sheen finish, shine, if you will. So you want it to run smooth. Your wax is going to be still a little tacky after you're scraping, obviously, so you just pretty much want to buff that wax out, buff it down. And you'll feel a substantial difference after you do this. That's it. They look like they're ready to ski. They look good. That's pretty much it. Um, take your time. Don't get too stressed out about it. Keep it flush and smooth.